Imagine if you could apply an entire preset to just part of your photo in two clicks. Hmm, imagine. Well, you don't have to imagine, you can do it now. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna use the Super Select AI tool located over here in my tool well. Super Select AI works by analyzing your photo and breaking it down into different objects and regions using AI. Let's say I wanna apply an entire preset, but I only wanna apply it to the background, not to my foreground. I've got this great handsome looking bull, uh, not a bull, buffalo, bison, a boy bison, a big brown boy bison, say that 10 times fast. What I want to do is I want to apply a preset to just the background. So watch, as I mouse over the photo, it's going to show me the different segments that it can find within the photo. I want to apply it to the background, so it's going to click on the background. Now I can right click, and from the right click menu, I can pick any local adjustment, I can pick any filter and effects, and any of the styles, or think of them like the presets that they come with, but I can't pick an entire preset. Remember the way a preset works as an effect is it can have multiple filters stacked with each filter having their own settings. It's very powerful. Let's say I just want to use a whole preset, but just on that background. So rather than using this right click menu or using the menu up here in the tool options bar that works the same, I just simply go to my preset browser and I can visually go find the one that I'm looking for. I want to add kind of a cool sun glow to the whole background. So down here, I've got a category called sun glow. I'm going to click on that and then I just pick the preset that I want. And voila, look, it's applied that preset. I can still use the fade slider right here so I can reduce how strong it is right here in the preset browser, but it only applied to the background in the photo. And if we look over here in our stack in effects, you will see the four different filters that made that up. It added four different filters, each filter with the right settings to create that look that I wanted, but it only applied to the area that I was interested in. And it did that by placing the mask right here in the master opacity mask. You can view that mask just like any other mask by pressing the O key or turning the mask preview on, and you can see the mask that it generated automatically. Now keep in mind, we're working on a pre-release version of the software, so this is not what the final mask would look like, but you can see it already looks pretty good. It's actually got all the little individual hairs around the bison's body. I can now use any of the other masking tools that I already know how to use, like the masking brush or the masking bug, to fine tune it. So I've got a couple little spots in here I wanna get rid of. I'm just gonna paint these little guys out over here, and I'll paint this little guy in. There you go. It's easy to retouch and fine tune those masks to your taste. And you can use this same technique to insert rather than replace everything in your filter stack. So you can stack preset on top of preset, and you can also use it with the filters tab inside of effects too. It's a crazy powerful yet really easy way to interact very tactily with your photos. We're excited for you guys to see it soon. Thanks for watching.